Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-October 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Capricorn, in this reading I'm going to tune into an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you at this time, what they like about the connection they have with you currently, and what they don't like about it and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you. This reading is for anyone with the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Capricorn. I'm tuning into a collective of thousands of energies, therefore not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what is yours and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Capricorn, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky currently, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I do want to remind Capricorn and cross watchers that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm um, reading a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed. And if that's the case, you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles. But because this is a Capricorn reading, I will make Capricorn the main subject of the reading. Finally, before I get into the reading, guys, I do want to quickly announce that I'm doing a 200k giveaway because, my goodness, I've hit 200,000 subscribers and I can hardly believe it. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support of myself and the channel. And I want to give back to you. So I am giving out candles, crystal sets, tarot decks, sage sticks, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. Alright Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Capricorn, um, so as I was like even talking, my voice was getting raspy and then when I closed my eyes and got into the energy, it, I heard mention the raspy voice. So I don't know if someone has like a raspy voice, maybe someone smokes or used to smoke like cigarettes or weed even, that's where they got that raspy voice from or it could be natural. Um, but also I saw a gray sweater I don't know if you're wearing one right now, or maybe this person has one or wears one quite frequently. It was a hoodie. I don't know if that will resonate with you at all. Um, but I see, I feel and see someone's determination in this with you, Capricorn. I don't feel like they're giving up easily or going to give up easily, and I feel someone really wanting to fight for this. That could just be a brief message for someone. We'll see what the cards have to say. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. Death, how they feel about you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. So different messages for different groups of you off the top. But we'll go ahead and, ooh, yeah, but there's desire here. There's passion here. Mm, but they don't know if you want to work on this. Mm. They do not like seeing you single. They do not want you to be single. They want you to be all theirs. It's kind of a possessive energy, a very jealous energy. And maybe Capricorn, that's kind of what made you pull back a little bit. Ooh, and I see why they want you so bad, Capricorn. You got the Empress here. Taurus, Libra energy. You could have those signs in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs. Oh, mmm. Wow. 
Oh yeah, Capricorn, bottom of the deck, page of cups energy. So water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the water sign. You could have water in your chart. Someone cannot stand not having you in their lives. Someone misses you. Someone wants you. They've been thinking of writing to you, like texting to you and then deleting it. Been thinking of ways to get back into your life, get back into your heart. And especially if you guys have moved on with someone else, it's driving them crazy. It's driving them crazy thinking about you being with someone else, touching someone else, loving someone else. They can't stand it. You could be a writer or this person could be a writer. Whether you like journal or they do write their own books, you could be an author. Um, or even writing songs I'm kind of picking up on. This could have been someone that you collaborated with in music or in art in some way for a few of you. But this person is a very sensitive person, a very emotional person. And they're going kind of crazy over this Capricorn, especially if you ended this or put an end to this. Yeah, I don't, I just get this feeling that someone just can't stand not being a part of your life, especially if you block them in some way. But there's something about this connection that has changed them, Capricorn. And they want you back and I feel like they're going to fight for this. They're not giving up on this and some of you, I don't know, if even if you block them on social media, if you don't have social media, this message is not for you. Um, they're making fake accounts to keep checking up on you or they're asking people to log into their account so they can look at your profile. Be aware of that, okay? Yeah, and someone has like a a porch or like a um, balcony outside of their bedroom that they go out on at nighttime, maybe to have a smoke or to just look at the moon, look at the stars. That could be this person or you, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. Someone definitely could live in a very busy city too, like an apartment or a townhouse. How they feel about you, the death card. Scorpio energy. You could have Scorpio on your chart. You could be connected to a Scorpio. You may have ended this and they feel the pain of the separation between the two of you, but they, this is not over. That's what I just heard. The thought of you two being together is still in the back of their minds. It's in their subconscious and they're not going to give this up. They want to pull Lazarus here with you, Capricorn, a resurrection here. And they're taking their time. They're waiting for the right time to reapproach this and to resurrect themselves into your life. But they're coming with some sort of artillery. Is that how you say it? Like some sort of defense with them. They're going to have some sort of plan on how to debate this with you, on how to get you back. And man, if you're with someone new or you have a new interest, they're looking to tear this person apart. They want to fight this person physically. This person has a very um, chaotic energy for some, and maybe that's why you kind of pulled back. So Capricorn, just be aware of that. This person likes to cling on a bit, okay? Even if things are all said and done, it, it's still hold, they're still holding on. Because what they think about this and what they think about you, Capricorn, Two of Wands energy, Aries energy. Some of you can have Aries in your chart. You could be connected to an Aries. Yeah, Capricorn, you turn them on. Um, there's just, they can't just view you as only a friend. They can't view you as not, uh, they can't stop thinking of you for one thing, but they're still planning on something. And they may just try to keep it casual, even if they come into your life or in your DMs or try to text you and just try to play all friendly. Like, oh, how's your day going? Oh, they have a plan behind that. It's not just all friendly and nice. There is another motive here that you're not seeing. And maybe some of you thought, oh yeah, I could just still keep this person as a friend. We can still work together. They're never going to view you as just friends. And they have a plan. They have a pursuit and they have something that they want from you or they want to achieve this 
I'm hearing like conquer. And so it's a very, very dominant, aggressive, even masculine energy I'm picking up on. And maybe like when you met this person, Capricorn, there could have been like some sort of signs that this person was very aggressive, that they go for what they want. And maybe that turned you on when you first met them. Like, oh, okay, this person's determined. They're upfront, they're confident, they're cocky. But then you realized maybe for some of you that this person was too much, too overbearing for some. Too, I don't know, there's something that made you guys want to end this. And maybe for some of you, it was like what bothered you about this person is that they always had a different motive in mind or a different intention that you could always pick up on or that you found out about, you know? And instead of being upfront and honest, they always had these like little sneaky ways of getting things that they wanted. And that was not something you were down for. But they, they have plans. They are, yeah, they, they do not want this to end. And if they kind of were like, oh yeah, Capricorn, let's just be friends or whatever, that's not their plan at all, just to give you a heads up, <laughs> okay? What they like the most about you, the Hierophant energy, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy. So some of you, there's strong Taurus energy here. If you have Taurus in your chart, you're connected to a Taurus, I suggest watching the Taurus video to see if there's messages there for you. But they like the fact of First of all, you're no, um, you're not someone that bullshits, okay? You're someone who's very dedicated, very loyal, but only for the right people. And Capricorn, I kind of view this as a lot of people do have their eye on you. A lot of people would love to be in a relationship with you or be in some sort of connection with you. But it takes a lot for you to be interested in someone. It has to be someone that is really... I mean, not that you're very picky, I mean, maybe you are, but it's just like a very particular type of person to catch your eye that you will, you would be interested in being loyal to or being in a commitment with. Other than that, you know, you'll do you and you'll have fun doing you. But they, for the fact that they know this about you, Capricorn, and that they were able to have a connection with you or to catch your interest, it's a bit of an ego play here that I feel that they feel towards you, that they feel ego stroked, that you gave them some sort of chance, an opportunity that you don't give a lot of people. Others of you, I gotta say that Capricorn, being with you, they learned a lot spiritually. I don't know if you're a very spiritual person. I mean, this is what it's really indicating here. You could be a teacher um, or like a mentor in some sort of way, but really like you've awoken them, you've enlightened them to a lot that they would never have learned about if they haven't been in this connection with you. You're very spiritually connected, you're very spiritually in tune. And they love that about you. They think it's really rare to find that in someone. And some of you switch up styles, or maybe this person does, with going between like straight and curly hair. You know, sometimes they'll straighten it and sometimes you'll let it curly and they like the diversity of your hairstyle <laughs> for someone. Also, there's someone that could wear hats quite frequently, whether that's like a baseball hat, a beanie, um, you know, one of those like newspaper boy hat type of things. Or glasses. I just felt like, you know when someone's glasses are kind of writing down their nose and they push it up? You could wear glasses, Capricorn, or this person does. What they don't like about you, Eight of Pentacles energy, Virgo energy, you could have Virgo in your chart. Um, you're hard to impress, you're hard to get. They feel that it's very hard to please you in some ways or that to keep your attention they have to do a lot. Um, or that you may be just not focused in love right now or wanting to be in a commitment with this person. You're more focused on your money, on your bag, on your career. Maybe you met this person at work and you, from what turned out to be like, or what was really sexy at first, you're kind of like, okay, you know what? We're at work, let's keep it business type of thing for some of you, but they're still interested. They also see like a lack of you caring or you taking a 
chance at this. Sorry, I'm shaking here. Um, this person is very, very like, yeah, I don't Capricorn, just to be honest, this person's going kind of like all over the place mentally when it comes to you. Like they want to know how they can make this work. They're going to try every sort of way to get you back. And right now, if they've even tried and you still ignore them, like it's even making them angry. Oh my God, I just heard, let them be mad. Let them be mad. Funny. I don't know, Capricorn, like they, they, this is not over. And maybe Capricorn, this is what you exactly you wanted to see from them. Effort, care, commitment that you didn't see from them before. And maybe that's what you were waiting on. It's almost as if they wanted you to be the person to like show all that with them kind of sitting back. Mm -mm, that's not how it's being played. And I just saw playing cards, um, you know, like the cards that you see in casinos and stuff. I don't know if this person gambled or likes to play cards. Maybe you do. Let's keep going. What they like the most about this connection, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Um, yeah, so this is where like the controlling type of energy is coming in. I'm just looking at the cards and feeling this intuitively. Like this person really thought that they can just always have their way when it comes to this connection. Like want to eat where they want to go to their favorite restaurants, do the things they want to do. Um, but also if that's not so much the case and you don't feel that controlling energy from them, um, this is someone that really sees that this could be something that could be successful, that they would want to invest in, that you two could be a power couple is what turns them on the most. This person could be a bit um, materialistic here. And maybe that's kind of what turned you off about it, Capricorn. Not that you don't like money, nice things in your career, but it's like this person almost is seeing this connection as like having Capricorn as like a, a, a thing and not as a partner. That's kind of how I feel. And it doesn't feel good, I gotta be honest. And this person could be extremely tall, or you could be extremely tall, Capricorn. There could have been a huge height difference between the two of you. What they don't like about this connection, Nine of Pentacles. It seems to be, or what they view it is, that they're the only one that's wanting this. And you're putting off the energy that you could care less, or that you're happy to be single. But they want this so bad. Yeah, this is, this is like when... I'm not seeing the devil card here, but you know, not only are you guys Capricorn, but I'm feeling very like obsessive, possessive energy. And like maybe you've can like told this person, yo, you know, this is going too far. Like I'd rather just be alone. You're a bit aggressive, or it's just, you know, Capricorn. They're still trying to play it cool to you. Like they don't care that they broke up when it's the exact opposite. They're still planning. They're still plotting. And they want to still take you off the market. And they have something of yours. Maybe you thought it went missing. Oh no, it's at their house. Or it's in their car. They just didn't, haven't told you that they have it yet. And some of you have a suspicion or you may already know. And you're waiting on them to return it to you. Highest hopes, the Empress. Taurus, Libra, energy. Some of you can have Taurus or Libra in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs, but they want this to grow. They want this to manifest. They see potential. They see abundance. They may even want to get you pregnant or they may want you to get them pregnant. Be careful of getting trapped, okay? Um, but you're so incredibly attractive physically, but it's all in the physical for like them with you, Capricorn. And you already know, you know, that you got the goods, right? And what they don't know is that you're not just going to give it out to anyone or that you're not just going to give it just because they're asking for it. Again, for some of you that may still be interested in this, um, you know, maybe you're just waiting for them to show you that this is something that they want to commit to, that you're not just going to lift a pinky of yours to get going because you may have done that in the past and now it's their turn. So you're sit back, relax, and see what they have to offer to you. 
And if it's nothing good, then off with their head, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean. But yeah, they, they see potential in this and they want this to grow. They don't want this to end. Deepest fear is here. The hangman, Pisces energy. You know that you will have no interest in making this work, that you'll still be doing you, that you are, you know, kind of on your own and liking it that way, and they'll still be watching you, still have an interest in you, still waiting, very patiently waiting. Again, they may be putting off that front like they don't care, it's over, whatever, I got other people, I got other people on my line type of thing. But really, they're still waiting and still watching for the perfect moment or waiting until you see that you guys are meant to be. That's just their perspective, right? It may not be based in reality, but that's how they're seeing it and that's how they're feeling it. Wow, okay, for the likely outcome of this situation, Capricorn, um... We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo and see what their next moves are in this whole plan in pursuing you and being with you. I mean, you may have made it clear that this is over, but they don't think it is. And I think they're really trying to resurrect something. They're trying to bring a new life out of what was ended between the two of you. But before we go, um, let's go ahead and pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. And I'm going to ask Spirit... If there's anything you need to know about this person and their intentions towards you and what they feel about you that they may have not told you. No, I almost got it, but then I heard no. Attraction, chemistry, deception. What, what more do I need to say, Capricorn? Yeah, they're still very interested in pursuing it. They still think that there's something here to work on, that there's something that they haven't felt with anyone and won't feel with anyone. The only target is you. And again, I feel like it's very superficial. It's because of the way you look. It's the way you make money. It's the way you go after your goals, how successful you are. But they think this isn't over and it's all a matter of time. So Capricorn, no, maybe this is there's some sort of deception that made you walk away from this. But if they're trying to front like it's whatever, no, that's just a lie, and that's a mask they're putting on. Or even if they're trying to be like, oh yeah, Capricorn, we could keep this just as friends. No, that's just a lie, and that's not what their intentions are. They have a lot more that they're cooking in the kitchen than what they're serving you right now on the plate. Okay? Whew, Capricorn, we're going to go and see what their le likely next steps towards you are. And I'm going to pull some oracle cards as well to add to this likely outcome. Again, if you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo. Before you go, Capricorn, I do want to quickly mention that I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and handmade zodiac candles on my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand-select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I intuitively feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand-make all the zodiac candles that I sell on my online shop where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, feel free to check out the online shop where you can find the link to the shop in the description box of this video. If this is where we depart Capricorn, I hope that this resonated with you in some way and that you gained insight and clarity in regards to what's going on in this connection. If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.